don't understand. What don't you understand? Rachenko is a fanatic, okay? He's a potential Hitler. Somebody should just step up and shoot him. I have no problem with that. Good. Well, it's fanatics who make history. Hell, Patton was a fanatic. It's what made him great. You think this guy's Patton? He's a dangerous lunatic, and he's threatening nuclear war, and he means it. What's that make us, since we're the only nation ever dropped a nuclear bomb on anyone? It makes us a prime target. I mean, there's half a dozen other third world countries with atom bombs would love to drop one on us. That's right. That's why we should drop one on them. What are you, a communist? You have a problem with us dropping <laughs> nuclear bombs on Japan? Shut up, Doc. You think it was a mistake, Mr. Hunter? Sir? Using the bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Well, if I thought that, sir, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> Interesting way you put that. How'd I put it, sir? Very carefully. <laughs> <laughs> you do qualify your remarks. Somebody asked me if we should have bombed Japan, a simple yes. By all means, sir, drop that fucker twice. <laughs> I don't mean to suggest that you're indecisive, Mr. Hunter. Not at all. Just, uh, complicated. Of course, that's the way the Navy wants you. Me, they want it simple. Well, you certainly fool them, sir. <laughs> Be careful there, Mr. Hunter. That's all I got to rely on, being a simple-minded son of a bitch. Rick Over gave me my command, a checklist, a target, and a button to push. All I had to know is how to push it, and they'd tell me when. They seem to want you to know why. I would hope they'd want us all to know why, sir. The Naval War College, it was metallurgy and nuclear reactors, not 19th century philosophy. <laughs> War is a continuation of politics by other means. Von Clausewitz. I think, uh, sir, that what he was actually trying to say was a little more complicated. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the purpose of war is, is to serve a political end, but the true nature of war is to serve itself. I'm very impressed. <laughs> In other words, the sailor most likely to win the war is the one most willing to part company with the politicians and ignore everything except the destruction of the enemy. That You'd agree with that? I'd agree that uh, that's what Clausewitz was trying to say. But you wouldn't agree with it? No, sir, I do not. <laughs> no, I, I just think that in the nuclear world, a true enemy can't be destroyed. Attention on deck. Von Clauschwitz will now tell us exactly who the real enemy is. Von? <laughs> in my humble opinion, in the nuclear world, the true enemy is war itself. 